Hi guys, this is Play It Again, and we're doing the weekly roundup again. Hey. I am Ginger. And I am Mike. How's it going It threw me off, man. I was all ready to introduce <laughs> myself. Some would say that you're always off. Just a little. Just a little off. You gotta do me like that, Ginger. Well, don't get me wrong. I'm off too. That's why we're together. That's why it works. I see. So, it's the weekly roundup, and since we screwed up the last two weeks... <laughs> been a tough couple of weeks <laughs> yeah guys we tried doing it as a live stream through Streamlabs or something and totally screwed it up it didn't go live and it didn't record audio so i had to scrap the whole video yeah. and, and the last week it was the dave emergency not only the dave emergency but like a terrible day for internet so it was yeah. this terrible choppy video that got cut off way too early and mm. we're sitting there talking yep. and i didn't even record it so sorry guys we're technically inept. Well, uh, I, I I don't think we can be held accountable for, for Dave showing up covered in blood. <laughs> and when you're forced to go live in Central America, sometimes it's just not going to work. It's true. It happens. Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, Dave is in much better stead today other than the fact that he showed up last night with a gigantic tick inside his nostril. So we had to deal with that this morning. Yeah. And, I'm not going to discuss it anymore because it makes Please me don't. want to throw up just right. thinking about it. Yeah, it was not good. So anyway, that's, uh, and on a personal note, I will also mention I got me a new drone the other day and we're about to take possession of our new farm and I am going to be doing some aerial drone photography and video soon that I'll be sharing on my channel. I'll be sure to include a link to that on our community page when I have it. So stay tuned for that. Yep. But... Okay, back to this channel. And and success. Oh, yeah. Because we're pre-recording. <laughs> <laughs> he says that, but we don't know for sure. Um, okay, so three weeks of content to go over is a little too much, too much. when we're trying to keep the video small. So highlights. Let me explain. No, no, it's too much. Let me sum up. <laughs> so All you Princess Bride fans will know no, that. I know you're a Princess Bride fan. Mm -hmm. So highlights. The Nightwish Tribal. Yeah, that was really good. It was really good. It was a nice kind of different sound for them. And uh, we got comments riddled from people who have been attending their live shows for their North American tour. And we're hyper jealous because we had tickets to the Lowell, Massachusetts show that we had to actually give up because there was well, no way we were going to be able to go. We weren't getting there from Costa Rica. It was one thing from the uh, greater Toronto area. Nothing thing no. all together from Costa Rica. So. No. And I mean, it would have happened right around the same time we were doing our house closing. So yeah, we got to miss it, but it sounds like they were some really good shows. Everybody yep. that's been commenting had been saying how great it was. So that was nice. Um, What else was a highlight? So LP was a big surprise. Oh, yeah. That was great. Yeah. And yeah. I searched and searched and searched. And I I know we we saw that song before. And I can't find the video for it, so damned if I know where the hell no, it went. I didn't remember it, but uh, it's on my Spotify list now. It will not be forgotten. Yeah, so we just finished uh, two very long, like, 10-hour car rides this past week, and it came up on the list a couple of times. Yep. It was really good. Yeah, it was. What else was highlighted? We, we got back to Draconian. <gasps> it's been a while, but yes. we did. Love the Draconian. And uh, the Irrepressibles. Yeah, that, that's a little further back in our in our three weeks to cover yeah, but it was that's fantastic probably my favorite highlight of the last three weeks for sure that song i am addicted to listening yeah, to Absolutely it's really something beautiful for sure so i think that's it for i mean there's lots of highlights but it's hard to remember them all it's true so let's get to the comments okay let me bring up what we have yes, here i apologize if there might be a couple duplicates i've actually forgotten how far back we went already so you're such a lovely couple. Thank you for your reaction. It was great. Please do more of Martian. We'll be looking forward to seeing it. We oh, will. He was really fun. You. That's sweet. It was sweet. We like thank each you. other. Thank you, Adrian. Mm hmm. Next. Next. Uh, all right. There. there we go. I got it. You guys are very good reacting together. I've seen a lot of your videos, and I love the chemistry you have. Oh, you say ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> and you won't. A flamboyant redhead. Oh. That's you. That's true. Thank you. And a bearded, down-to-earth kind of guy, both killing it. 
allegedly. <laughs> well, you got to you throw these accusations. Right? You react to this old and generic video different, but you both seem to like it. Oh, the Wardrina, of course. Yeah. Uh, and I love the couple dynamics and your music reactions. Well, thank you. Thank you. We I enjoy the couple dynamics too. Genuinely, most days do it without them. we are an old married couple. Sometimes there's squabbles. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there's even squabbles on camera. Yeah, once in a while. Yeah. All right. Oh, I can't believe anyone actually pays attention to these idiots. That's you and me. Yeah, mostly. Don't like the Beatles. <laughs> Thought Susan the Banshees wrote the song. The age of Trump infects everything. Not sure what Donald Trump has to do with Ginger's dislike of the Beatles. They they kind of that the Beatles and Ginger's dislike predate Trump's presidency. Indeed. Yeah. They really do. Uh truth and it does say a little something about Timothy about how much rent Trump still holds in his head. I right. will say that. Maybe it really does infect everything. For Timothy. Right. Truth evaporates while ignorant wannabe folks, famous folks, pontificate. Oh, there's a big word for a man like Timothy. <laughs> We're watching two knuckleheads critique a song they know very little about. Did you research the song? No, we don't. This is a reaction channel. This is not a music research channel. Right. Who so, was, sounds like he wants an A&E documentary. Mm, that's not going to be us. I don't work for A&E. No, we don't get paid by any, well, we don't really get paid by anybody, let's be honest. But, I mean, the truth is, what we enjoy most, we could research the songs more, and some people have complained about that before, but they don't get it. We really, really, really like walking into it knowing almost nothing mm -hmm. and getting information from you guys, our peeps, because we get so much gold from that. It's, some of it's, I mean, I could look it up. I could spend hours looking it up through Google searches, right? But you guys sometimes have little gems that I would never find. Mm -hmm. And it's way better to learn that way. And personal takes on it, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, who it was written, a song is more than a pretty voice. Dylan? Now we're going to get into how much I don't like Bob Dylan, too. <laughs> Ginger's just digging deeper. <laughs> Great art travels through time to provide us a glimpse of perspective, a snapshot of the artist, of time and context. Is there no sense of history? Wow, it's just 50 years, not a real stretch. Forget it. Whatever. Bye, Mike and Ginger. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I don't want to waste no, any more time on this guy. I want to say one guy. thing. Timothy, the last half of your comment where it's, you talk about great art traveling through time is a very poignant comment. I totally agree, and I love that thought and idea and we could certainly discuss that more but when you preface it with a pile of crappy insults nobody's gonna listen to you i'm not listening yeah i've already forgotten <laughs> <laughs> i focus on mrs mike's screams and it's very funny <laughs> did i scream on that one it happens it doesn't yeah. happen on the elipitas <laughs> you're you're pretty emotive Let's just put it that, that way. That's pretty much accurate. Yes. I would agree. It I'm is pretty funny please. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, the neighbors sometimes complain, actually. I think we all need a Broadway opera of Ronnie Radke's life. Endorsed and seconded. <laughs> I'd go see it. Yeah. I don't know why, but I expected them to start battling to the death like a Rick and Morty interdimensional cable commercial. I would watch that. I don't know that much about Rick and Morty, mm. but it does make me think about the Rock'em Sock'em. <laughs> uh, if that's all we could do, you're going to lose. It's you're, you're only edge is fighting dirty. Rock and Sock'em only had a limited it's repertoire. true. It is my only edge, but it is a very good edge. <laughs> oh, you that, make me read them all. That song was so surprising. Ginger's dancing was worth the price of admission. <laughs> That was the Africanish kind of sounding version of Little Drummer Boy, and I figure I know what kind of dancing he's talking about because I wasn't wearing a bra that day. <laughs> Why did nobody love my dancing? <laughs> <laughs> I love your dancing. Thank you. Oh, I would like to get lost on that rack. Uh, well, when I saw this, I thought, well, it is lovely terrain, but it's not overly complicated. How are you going to get lost? Well, maybe in here. Right, like it's pretty that's, deep. That's more like stuck. <laughs> okay, we'll just end it there. 
Mike, you remind me of the person I once had and loved. If only I could meet you and I would hug you tightly. And then Ginger would pull your hair and kick you. Not yeah. you. This person. Sorry, Hemba. I'm sure you're a very sweet person. But you cannot hug my husband. He's all mine. <laughs> I, know you, I know you're not touching my mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look up the Axe commercial. Never seen this channel before, but I like Mike. He grinned like a Cheshire cat, much like I did when hearing their new song. That's kind of how you grin, like, all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just enigmatically. I have to say, most of the love in the comments comes for Ginger. It's always nice to get a little bit for me. Yeah, the thing is, <laughs> most of the love for me is lasci is lascivious. It's true, but, you know, it's still love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but as we saw from the previous comment, some of the lascivious love is for you, too. Mm. Forget about Marcelito. What about the love you have for each other? It's a joy to behold. The music becomes background to the love in your hearts. It's true, and sometimes it's the background to the physical love, too. That's true. Yeah, there's a playlist or two. Talk of bongos and Billy Bragg. You guys are cool. Glad I found you. So, awesome. bongos again? Ah, the band. Ah. <laughs> And I, and I believe it was David also left a, a comment with a suggestion for another bongo song because I did ask what else would was noteworthy. I see that in bongos. our future. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to do that. For upcoming, sure. All right. And we do love Billy Bragg. It uh, kind of brought us together, sort one, of. One of the things, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Obviously, both of you have, bow of you, have no idea about guitar and about music at general. Are you even mu musicians, guys? No. No. I mean, we don't <laughs> pretend to be. This no. is not... Musician reacts. This is not guitar people react. This is just Mike and Ginger. Yep. We are plebs. We are who we, we just are. Like music. Yep. That's rude, though. <laughs> okay, I was gonna watch this reaction until she started about redeeming a Beatles song. Obviously, not a true appreciator of actual music. Okay, wild well, player. Ginger doesn't like the Beatles, and that's a little unusual. But music is one of the most subjective things ever. Yeah. So get over yourself. Yeah, and look at the comments. I'm clearly not the only person who thinks the Beatles are deeply underrated. It's true. There are a few people who have felt it was a safe space to come out and say, I don't like them either. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, you know, it is possible to to not like the Beatles and still be a decent appreciator of music. Yeah. The people that don't think that, they're just they're, snobs, Yep. to be honest. And this I wanted to share because one of our regular commenters, our very good friend Isabel, made a tune of me. <laughs> I shared a picture of me in my new cowboy hat, my new farmer's hat on Twitter. Yep. And she snatched it up and made a tune of me. I kind of like it. I like the jungle background too. It looks like like uh, Ginger's on an adventure, which is how Ginger I'm rolls. Always on an adventure. It's true. That is truly Ginger's nature. That's true. Nice she, job, Isabel. She said she would have done one of you if she could have got a good picture, but I might have to send her one because there's I no really good like pictures of me. <laughs> you are great in pictures. I'm the one that needs extra lighting. <laughs> so that was it for the comments. I'm uh, sure there was more, but it was hard to compile three weeks of, three weeks of comments all at once. Yep with all the other things we've been up to. So, upcoming, we only have a couple to in the hopper that to mention. Yeah. Um, so we have a band, a new band that was introduced to us that their video is kind of like a choose your own adventure. Yep. Some so, uh, some metal out of Italy. Yeah, we did that and it was fabulous. Yep. So we're going to be sharing that this week. We're going to be looking at Luliac's new song. Yeah, looking forward to seeing that. Um what else? It what was a cover, it? right? The it Liliac is one a, is a cover. cover. You ask hard questions. It is. We a were cover. talking about it like we were just half an hour ago. It. Yeah, I don't remember. Neither of us can remember it. But it's in the hopper to look at. Yep. Probably today. On the and queue. Yep. We'll see if we can get it out for this week. There was one other thing. I Leo remember. covering the Dead <gasps> South. Oh, so two channel favorites, the Dead South, being covered by Leo Marcioli. Metal cover by Leo. Oh, that was stupendous, guys. I can't wait for you coming guys to soon. see it. Coming soon to a YouTube channel near you. <laughs> yes, that's coming out this week. So that's it in the hopper for now. We have a lot to catch up on. So. Yeah, surprising us what, what the rest of the week looks like, dude. We don't yeah, know yet. Yeah, we're not ready. We've been traveling for half the week, so we're not ready with... We don't have videos done in advance. We have to do a bunch 
in the next couple days. But so it's a you guess what comes <laughs> up this week other than those ones. So yeah. thanks for tuning in again, guys. We'll be back on track next weekend, I hope. And it would be nice actually to do a live chat. Yeah, we'll, this week. we'll, we'll hope try. we get good enough internet. Yes, and I will, uh, this time I'll be sure to put it, a post in advance on the community page when it's going to be so it doesn't, I know we catch you guys by surprise because we suddenly go, oh, let's do a live chat and then nobody's ready. So we'll do that. Yes, Otherwise, sounds excellent. Enjoy your music to, uh, this week, guys. I know we're going to, and thanks for tuning in. <laughs>